So now begins the exciting part, which is the painting. And uh, the paint has a certain um, thick consistency to it, so I can put a little bit of texture in it, which is nice, especially for something like these lambs, which I want to have a nice woolly feel. Um, and the texture that I put into it uh, smooths out a little bit because the oil uh, that the uh, paint is mixed with uh, will tend to kind of spread a little bit so that it smooths it out kind of naturally. So it's really very suitable for doing uh, something like wool uh, on these little woolly lambs. So after the first coat is painted, now I've got the first coat painted on all four of them. And I did the first coat on all four together because I really wanted them to have the same kind of intensity. I didn't want one lamb to turn out a lot whiter than the others. So it was important to do them all together and get a sense that they were matching each other. Uh, so after they were dry, after the paint is dry, then I do a little bit more scratching just to get to some details in, especially the shadow details. Um, because if there's any shadow, I have to have it right from the beginning. Uh, otherwise, if I've lost it, I've lost it for good. So when the when the paint is completely dry, which uh, happens when I leave it on the uh, the kiln for uh, for about half an hour, uh, the oil is dry and, and I can start scratching. And uh, I'm again now the the difference between scratching at this point and scratching in the sifted layer is that the grains that I'm dealing with here are much 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 smaller. These are like flour. Uh, whereas the grains when I was sifting were more like sugar. So here they are all scratched. You can see that the white is a little bit more intense now because it's dry uh, and I've uh, really kind of outlined the features to make sure that uh, it's obvious uh, where the legs are and where the head is and that kind of thing. But there's hardly anything that's completely fixed even at this point. I have lots more layers of paint to put on. So here they go into the kiln these firings are the most tricky of my firings, obviously. If, if I leave it in there five seconds too long, um, I can ruin the piece because the, the paint will spread. So, uh, so I have to watch these firings very, very carefully. And now you can see that the paint after firing has lost a little bit of its intensity, but that's just fine because we have uh, several more layers of paint uh, to add, which will build up those highlights.